a million subscribers, 622 videos. All of Plantarina's content have been removed from YouTube and from Instagram as well as Facebook. Sometime around like January 15th, all of Plantarina's videos just got taken down off YouTube. Heads up, I did speak with Amanda and she is doing okay. Thank you for everyone that was concerned about her. That's the right way to approach this. I think it's worth mentioning that remember that Amanda and Plantarina are kind of separate entities and although you connect the two of them because Amanda made videos under Plantarina, remember that Plantarina was a business. Three days ago, someone on Reddit says, I was watching one of her videos on lunch break, went to click on another and that led me to a page that said, this video is no longer available because the uploader closed their YouTube account. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash Plantarina, which is her channel name, it says the page isn't available. Sorry about that, search something else. So as I said, I did speak with Amanda. Keep an eye out for an update from her. I just don't believe they're ready to discuss things at the moment. I did also speak to someone else at the company, but I'm not at liberty to discuss what I talked with them about. So what happened? Why delete almost a decade's worth of work? And also on YouTube, in order to keep your monetization status, you just have to post once every six months. And she had 600 plus videos. And honestly, the biggest houseplant YouTube channel, there are bigger general plant YouTube channels, but a million subscribers is a serious amount of work and effort in building that community. And also Amanda says she misses all of you and misses the engagement with you all, but keep an eye out for an update from her. So on a monthly basis, this upper bound of $2,000 a month is probably closer to what they were earning. As of late, they were getting around half a million views per month, and that should equate to around $2,000. But just like everything we've discussed and kind of speculated on, what occurred, I believe, to Plantarina was a serious decline post-COVID, which is happening to a lot of these plant shops. Back in 2021, even a year after COVID, she was still getting two and a half to three million views per month which is like six times what she was making. So back then, I would assume that Plantarina and the YouTube channel was making about ten dollars to $12,000 a month, somewhere in there. And slowly over time in 2022, it became one and a half million, so it got cut in half. By 2023, it's still a million per month, which is great. But by now in January, November, December, January of 2023 and 2024, you're down to half a million views per month. But still, a million subscribers, this is a massive entity just in terms of its social media presence. And she got rid of the Instagram, which had over 600,000 followers. I'm praying that these channels are set to private and not deleted. I believe in YouTube, you can kind of like shadow delete your channel. So you'll just set all the videos to private and have it not be publicly facing. It's just a ton of work and knowledge and tips and parts of your life, honestly, that are caught on camera. But this is absolutely heartbreaking that the channel has been deleted. I really hope it's just been set to private. But what happened here? Let's speculate a little bit just because there had to have been something gone wrong from a business standpoint. So the business has been around since about 2017, at least the domain plantarina.com has been around since then. So this is a business and Amanda did have a business partner and this person was actually the CEO of the business, Lauren Sharfman. Lauren is a highly educated Harvard and Yale business person from New York, it seems like. And if you look at her LinkedIn profile, she's the CEO at Plantarina and the corporate documents from the filings of the LLC also reflect this. It looks like before Lauren's time with Plantarina, she was the co-founder of the luxury jewelry brand Ippolita, a brand that has had partnerships with people like Kendall Jenner. And it looks like in 2017, Lauren was setting up like this really nice Hampton's house, which it looks like that might be where a lot of the content was created from Plantarina. I do remember that. But also I just started following Lauren after Plantarina got shut down the website. But recently Lauren also shut down her Instagram. It looks like the Facebook had over 300,000 followers, but if you click it, the page isn't available. So why wouldn't Amanda just rename the YouTube and the Instagram to something personal like her full name and start creating content under that? My only thinking is that because Plantarina is a trademark name, wholly controlled or majority controlled by someone like Lauren or other investors. And Amanda might not have rights to control that entity or do business under Plantarina because it is a brand name. And it looks like the publication for the trademark is from 2018. Just as a fellow YouTuber, I couldn't imagine having all of my content removed 
and not have any control over it. I really hope it's just set to private and all the content can come back. As I said, it's still an asset that lives online and is watched and has ads ran against it. And that person who created it and edited it and did all that work for it, I'd hope has the right to control that asset. And just the emotional attachment of like getting comments from you guys. I know Amanda that that was a big part of her life. And there is a huge connection from both the creator side and the viewer side to that person. There is a relationship there. And I know she's missing that. But this would be absolutely heartbreaking and my heart goes out to her and I hope people remember that there is a business and there's an individual. And yes, the individual does stand behind the business, but it's still a person at the end of the day. And whether or not Lauren or other executives or higher ups at that business decided on the pricing or the website strategy or the shipping or any of that, which a lot of people complained about the pricing. Remember that Amanda is typically separate from that. From what I saw, it looked like Amanda made a lot of the content and ran the Instagram and the YouTube and that drove sales to Plantary. Com. Again, this is all speculation, but I imagine it's incredibly tough to walk away from all of this for Amanda, especially without a final goodbye or any sort of mention. So I'm hoping she's going to be able to come out at least on a personal account and address all of you and let you guys know how she's doing. But she is doing good health wise and she's just looking forward to some form of comeback, I believe. I know that her heart is broken from, you know, six or seven years of work on her plant shop and making all of this content to just have it be taken away is tragic. I know that this was not an easy decision for Amanda. I'm not sure if she had much part in the decision. I can't speak to that, but I know that her heart is broken and she misses all of the YouTube viewers and the comments and connecting with people. So until we see you again, Amanda, we miss you. Business and trademarks aside, you will always be Plantarina to us.